Welcome to Cage Minds. I'm your host, Micah Frankel, and it's been a while. We're joined by Cynthia Sin Arceo. Ma'am, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Micah. How are you? I'm great. Good to hear that you're going to be back in action. We didn't get to see you in 2020. So fill us in. What's been going on with you? Uh, not, not much. I mean, I continue to train. Um, I The whole pandemic <laughs> happened, but uh, gratefully, uh, I haven't stopped being called for fights. Uh, different things happen for different reasons. I got sick. Um, well, first the pandemic happened. And then I, I got a little, I, I got sick and then I had a little mishap with my foot. So, but this one's the one. <laughs> this time it's the one. To... You mentioned it. There were two fights you had to pull out of in 2020. Did those sting a little bit having to withdraw? Yes, it did a lot. Um, but you know what? I, I kept it positive and I kept on training. Um, it's, it's all in the mindset to just keep on going. Uh, for whenever you can get back in there. And that's what I did. Um, I know the, as you saw, the second time I got a cast put on, um, nothing major, but um, the, the doctor literally told me, he's like, you're an athlete. I know you're not going to stop. So we need to put you on a cast for you to actually get it healed. So he put me on a cast and, but I continued training and people looked at me funny and, but it is what it is. It's, it's just who we are. So, so how's everything feeling now? Great. It actually, I feel very in sync with myself. I feel very positive. I feel very happy. Uh, I just want to get back in there. That's, that's all I want. And getting back in there with a big opportunity, LFA, LFA 103 against the former champion, Vanessa Demopoulos. What was your initial reactions on getting this fight? I'm happy to get back in there. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm very grateful for Shannon. You know, uh, I fight for Invicta, but I'm grateful that Shannon gave me the opportunity to fight in this card. I just, I just want to get back in there and fight. How long has it been that you've been healthy enough, that you've been cleared by the doctors and everybody to compete? It's been uh, since l about four months now, I believe. Oh, so you're really ready for this one. You've been chopping at the bit. Oh, yes. I, I, I've, I've been at it. Even when I had the cast on, I was training. <laughs> so so talk to me about that level of dedication that you have that a cast wasn't even stopping you. No, I, am, I mean, at this level, everybody works hard, but it's just that passion that you have for it of, of continuing and improving and getting better that it just, it, it's a drive. It's not, it's more than a motivation. It's a drive. How hard is it to keep your balance with a cast on your foot? It, well, actually, it helps to gain your, to, to, to get better balance, <laughs> to be so honest. Any weakness in making it a strength? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. I, I, I actually, like, was playing around with it and stuff, so I, I learned a lot. <laughs> and then I saw even recently... Things have been loosening up. You were able to make your way back up here to Albuquerque for some cross training again. Yes, definitely. I got to go back up to my second home. Um, and it's wonderful once I'm up there. I, I love it. It's it's home away from home, but it's it's the best. It's awesome. It, you, you can't pick either or. And, and what are your expectations for the feelings of returning then to your third home, of getting back in that cage live on fight night next Friday? I'm excited. Uh, I, I'm really looking forward to it, Micah. Um, I've been eager to get back in there. I, um, I, I just, you know, I know, I know it's been um, the, the, since uh, you didn't see me in 2020, but I, I've been fighting for, I've been doing combat sports for over 20 years. So it's nonstop for me. This is, this is not new. This is, this is who I am. That's where I belong. So it's, I'm looking forward to it. And let's talk about the challenge ahead of you again at LFA 103, Vanessa Demopoulos. Man, you two are very similar. And I don't know two more energetic, kind of happy, positive people. Those, that's where the similarities end, though. She's world-class on the ground with her jiu-jitsu. You're world-class with your striking. And we've talked about your long history with karate and with Shokan. How do you feel this one 
plays out and how intriguing is it even to you how opposite you guys are stylistically it's gonna be a great show it's it's awesome um it's it's gonna be great (laughs) and also what do you think about the opportunity not just lfa but like i said she's a former champion with the promotion i believe she's fought all of her professional fights with them so it's somebody that's made a name and there's a, a lot of publicity that you can get with a good performance you know me micah you know you know um, i i i want to go back in there uh, you know i want to go back into the fighting uh you know that it a name or a belt is not going to stop me i want that challenge i want that step up i want that i want that fight uh, that's what gets people known that's what gets fighters known and out there so Uh, let's go for it like you said we haven't seen you in well over a year not to let all the tricks or whatever out but where do you feel you've improved and how has your game changed in this last year I've been improving all around Micah Uh, I'm very happy like I mentioned I feel very in sync uh everywhere in my training I'm very happy um I I, I, I can't see anything but great things coming in 2021. And has it been strange, somebody that whether it was karate, like we said, or MMA, you were used to competing and to not have been competing. How strange has that been? Mm, a little bit, but like I mentioned, I didn't stop training. So it's, it's very, uh, I challenge myself kind of deal. Like I said, it's more than a motivation. It's more like a drive that you push yourself to the next level. You become your challenge. So you become hungrier. Well, what's been the, what was the most challenging part of this time off and this time having to wait? Um, being hungry and not being able to eat, I guess. <laughs> that hunger for being out there and and you can't (laughs) is it what is that like for people that don't understand it what is that that rush and that adrenaline what does that feel like fighting night to get under those bright lights oh it's amazing you just feel everything the chills the 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 happiness the adrenaline the it's amazing it's it's like i guess if I don't know, like if you love dessert and you have dessert right in front of you, or if you love roller coasters and you go on a roller coaster, it's just that thrill that it's just amazing. (laughs) I can't, I can't explain it. (laughs) That motivation. How do you continue to find it? How do you push? You're, I'm hungry. You, you become hungry and then it just doesn't stop you. Once you're hungry, it doesn't go away. (laughs) awesome awesome you can see the exuberance you can see the excitement prediction for next friday is a fun fight yes a very fun fight with my arm raised at the end awesome cynthia how can everybody keep up with you across social media uh you guys can follow me on instagram uh uh, facebook and on twitter under cynthia sin arceo mma or cynthia sin arceo was there anybody else that you need to thank your shout out to? Yes, I want to thank my my sponsors. I want to thank you. I really appreciate you taking the time for, for always talking to me and um, being there. Um, my coaches, my my team, my, my dojo, uh, thank you. My training partners, I've had amazing training partners this time. So thank you very much to everybody that's been there. I truly, truly appreciate you guys.